this is the way we would use a combined voice and digital network. Net control actually becomes the traffic cop. So we're going to call our net. This is KK6DA opening our net this afternoon. We're looking for voice check-ins first. We'll make a list and then we'll do digital check-ins. Who would like to check in first? Whiskey Zero, Delta Hotel Golf. W Zero, DHG. Next station. November, Romeo 6, Victor. Dan, good afternoon. NR6B, next station. Whiskey 6, Alpha Hotel. Okay, Net Control acknowledges W0DHG, NR6V, and W6AH. Gentlemen, prepare your traffic, and we'll call you uh, one by one to send your digital traffic. Let's go in order. W0DHG, feel free to send your traffic. All right, ready to send traffic. Uh, Traffic's being sent. And we acknowledge receipt of one message. Thank you, W0DHG. Let's go to the next station, Dan, NR6B. Please send your digital traffic. Dan, NR6B, uh, stand by. Uh, go to the next uh, operator. I'm not ready. Very good. Let's go to W6AH. Chris, if you're ready, please feel free to send your digital traffic. Thank you, W6AH, standing by to uh, posting to Outbox and sending my digital traffic. This digital traffic is going to be coming via Telnet. Traffic sent. Thank you. We'll check receive in just a moment. Thank you, W6AH. And back to NR6V if you're ready, Dan. NR6V, uh, I am still not ready. Um, one of the nice things about forms is that if you don't fill them out correctly, it will tell you. It nags you. It nags you. And I'm having a problem doing what it wants me to do. Okay. Take your okay. time. Uh, net control, I am ready to send my traffic. And our 6 v feel free with your digital traffic. And our 6 v one message sent. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, Chris, at this point, shall we go to uh, my win link and see how it's received? Yes, please. Okay. Let's do that. Let's open a session. Here, by the way, are David's two messages earlier. Please send pizza. There's a win link session. Start. Three messages. Three messages received and we're disconnected. By the way, each message you should know has an individual name. This is the name of number one, number two, number three, if you need to refer to that ever. So here are the messages. These are WinLink Express check-ins. This is what it looks like on my end. Now, once again, just to underscore, this is the information that was sent. It's basically text. It's metadata. We're not sending the HTML form, but it reconstitutes itself as the form. So it plugs all of that metadata into these fields, and we all know it's a, it's a WinLink Express check-in. And the, the beauty of that is that your served agency is going to get that data in a form that's very similar to what they work with every day. So in the stress of a disaster, they're not trying to figure out what the heck is this you handed me. It's what they know. And that's very, very valuable in a disaster. Right. That, that resource request form that I demonstrated a couple of minutes ago that I showed you for the LA County where they need medication, personnel, or equipment is exactly a copy of the form, the paper form that they would fill out and put on a fax machine if they had phone communications. And again, we're like the fourth level or fifth level of disaster communications, but we send that same message when you print it out on a printer or show them on a screen. It's exactly what they're used to seeing. And it's easy to recreate those forms um, based on that if you have some basic HTML skills. And I am sending three ACKs, three acknowledgments back to these three stations. Now, 
in an RF net, it would sound and operate much differently, but we would take it in order uh, as we as we just demonstrated. And that's the way we run digital networks, a combination of voice and data at the same time on the same frequency. And it works out very well. Uh, yeah. And if you're in a, an area with just a few operators, you may be able to just have the the individual discipline of listening for a clear frequency and sending traffic without coordination. But in Los Angeles, as mentioned earlier, we have 70 plus hospitals that we're dealing with. And uh, for everybody to try to send their traffic without some kind of a coordination would be uh, uh, another disaster. <laughs> 